The backyard is a big part of your home and a great way to get more use out of it is with a great looking outdoor day bed. Your favorite spot in the backyard can go from this to this. These are all the tools and safety equipment that we need to build our outdoor day bed and I've had all my material pre-cut at Bunnings. The first thing to do is set out one end of our outdoor day bed. Set out the timber using two verticals and a horizontal. Measure, mark, drill pilot holes and countersink so the screw heads are hidden. We're now going to continue positioning our verticals. I've got an offcut which is the same width as our rails. I'm going to use that as a spacer between each of the verticals so we've got a consistent position across the job. We're going to put on our horizontal timbers. We're going to use the spacers as before just to make sure everything's in the right position. Now we'll measure, mark and drill like we did on our top rail. We're now going to position our central horizontal. It acts as a bearer for our rails, so we need to be consistent with dimensions, so we're going to use our spacer again. We're going to square up our end frame and lock it off with two more screws so it doesn't move. That's the first end of our day bed complete. All we have to do now is repeat the process for the second one. Now we've got both ends of our day bed complete. We've knocked all the sharps off with a piece of sandpaper. It's time to put it together. These are heavy units, so it's best to get a friend to help you out. Slide your Merbau posts through the evenly spaced slots. These end frames can be exposed either side and it's completely up to you how you set it up. So there we have it, our day bed's complete and it's up to you now to add the decorator touch. You can paint it or stain it, just do what you like. This is the perfect spot to enjoy some downtime in the peace and quiet of your outdoor setting. And how good does it look? From an empty space to a great new outdoor day bed. We've taken it from this to this.